Uh-oh, look what Daddy did. New guitar. What do we got, guys? Harley Benton. Let's check it out. Unboxing. What does it look like here? Okay. Alrighty. Let's get this out of the way. That works. Okay. Now, to unwrap. Allen key. That is key. What? Looking kind of old school. What do we got here? Woo! Well, look at that. Look at that. Single cut. My first one ever. Pretty sweet, if I can get that in the camera. What do you think of that, guys? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. This thing looks great. All right. Let's get some sound samples. Let's check it out. What's going on today, guys? Uh, today's a very special day here at the home studio as we've got some new gear to check out. I just received my um, Harley Benton SC552 and this thing I am extremely so far very pleased with this guitar. Having a lot of fun with it and uh, for anyone new to the channel you might not be aware that um, I've never owned, never played a single cut guitar ever for more than maybe a couple seconds, picked one up in a guitar store and was like, nope, not for me, put it back down. Never been into the vintage vibe, the vintage look so much. Obviously it's really cool for um, all the classic rock players because that's what they had back then. But yeah, I just never really got into this vibe. And um, I figured, you know, half of, the, half of the people out there in the guitar community are playing these kind of guitars, so why not see what they're all talking about? What's so good about them? So uh, decided to pick one up, couldn't be more pleased. I wanted to get something in a more affordable, budget-friendly range, not knowing if I'm going to like it at all. I really didn't want to shell out, you know, 1500 bucks plus for a real uh, Gibson. So, like I said, the Harley Benton here, it's got that Les Paul shape and size and feel, I guess. Uh, the neck's a little different, I think, from a real Les Paul. But um, I love the feel of this thing. It's great. <laughs> Yeah, so I've never, 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 never been into the single cut feel, vibe, look, whatever. Um, I love classic rock. I grew up on it. That's some of my favorite stuff is classic rock. My favorite group of all time is Led Zeppelin. But for some reason, I'm just into the modern metal guitar style and scene, you know, nowadays. Um, you know, it's those sharp, pointy guitars, locking nuts. Locking tuners, whammy bars, all that good stuff. That's that's more my vibe. That's what I pick up on a daily basis, generally, uh, when I want to just kind of jam or shred or whatever. So let's go over some of the specs real quick, get that stuff out of the way. Uh, single cut guitar, never had one. And I figured this is a good foray into that category. Start with something that's a little bit cheaper, 
see if I like it. Uh, so far, I, I do. And um, yeah, I don't know what to say. This thing has really got me impressed. Uh, Harley Benton, their quality, from what I can tell, is just kind of going up. This is my third Harley Benton guitar I've ordered from the company. Not sponsored by them. They don't know me from Adam. But this guitar is great. I mean, it's a shorter scale length, which I'm kind of getting used to. So it's 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length as opposed to a Fender or Ibanez. Typical scale length is 25 and a half inches. So, you know, for you that aren't, you know, familiar with that, this kind of guitar is generally three quarters of an inch shorter in scale length than the neck length. So that takes a little getting used to, especially for a tall guy like me with long arms. You know, this feels like a miniature guitar uh, in some respects because it's so small that way. And the body's a little bit smaller too. But apparently this particular model is has weight relief chambering. It's still kind of heavy. It's still about eight and a half pounds, but it's not excessive to me. It's comfortable, you know, on your lap, on a strap, whatever way you want to rock it. It feels pretty good. The SC552 currently prices out at about $275 US. Uh, I think that's what it was, plus, you know, tax and shipping. So all said and done, I think I paid about $350 uh, to my door. And it took them about three days, again, to get the guitar here from Germany. I don't know how they do that. God bless them. That was awesome. My experience with Harley Benton overall and Toman has been really, really good. Uh, like I said, this is my third guitar from them. And uh, service, you know, customer service is great. The quality so far is really, really good. I mean, it's up there, you know. You might not compare this to a real Les Paul or some, you know, $1,000 plus guitar, but maybe you would. Uh, let me tell you why. This thing stays in tune rock solid. I can't really believe it because, you know, all the stories you hear about Gibson's infamously falling out of tune, especially the G string, whether it's because of the tuners, the angle of the strings at the headstock, or an inferior nut or what have you. For some reason, they just don't stay in tune very well. This Harley Benton uh, SC550 does stay in tune very, very well. I put some new strings on it, some uh, tens. I kept it with 1046 standard tuning and it just rock solid. It stays in tune, I love it. It comes with a graphite nut. They don't specify that it's Graph Tech brand, but it's a graphite nut, nut so it does pretty much the same thing, I assume. Uh, and again, the stainless steel frets. Guys, for under $300, you're getting a guitar with stainless steel frets, jumbo frets. They feel great. There's no fret sprout at all. It's just completely comfortable to play. Once you go stainless steel, you'll feel the difference and you won't want to go back. I mean, honestly, you know, nickel wears out a lot faster. It dents a lot quicker, especially if you're doing a lot of first position chords and that kind of stuff. Frequently, you'll see the dent marks in the frets, you know, after a couple of months. Um, that's not cool because then you have to have them filed down and everything. But this thing is great. They upgraded a few things since the original 550. So apparently they've got new pickups in here. They used to put the Roswells. I haven't played those. I don't really know what they, you know, how they react or how they sound. These are Tesla brand Opus Ones. So I've never heard of Tesla before uh, researching this guitar, but they sound pretty good. You know, they're really, really not bad. They're kind of a medium to lower output you know, compared to some Seymour Duncans and some other ones, but they sound good. <laughs> This kind of guitar, I'm kind of thinking I want to keep it stock because it should kind of retain that sort of vintagey sound, you know, that kind of vibe. I, I don't think I want to hot rod this thing and make it a modern, you know, metal shredder. I've got enough of those uh, already. But yeah, so some differences from what I'm used to anyways is obviously the single cutaway, right? This has a set neck, which is also another first for me. 
it's you know kind of I don't know if they glue it in there, notch it in somehow, but it's a set neck. It's not a it's not a neck through design, and it's not a bolt on neck. From what I've read, bolt on necks are a little snappier and a little brighter, so this has a warmer sound to it. I think that holds true at least with this particular one. <laughs> Okay, so final thoughts. Um, if you like this kind of guitar and you're looking to get into a single cut, or maybe you already have a couple and you want to try a more budget-friendly version, or looking for the stainless steel frets without paying uh, stainless steel fret prices, this is the way to go. Uh, I love this thing. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I think you're going to see this a lot more on my channel going forward. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's beautiful. It feels great. It plays really well. It stays in tune. It does all the things a guitar is supposed to do. The basics. It has them down pat. Uh, the pickups sound pretty good too. I really can't complain with those. They're a lower output, you know, kind of a medium output. I think the, I believe the bridge pickup is somewhere around 8K um, DC, whatever the hell that, you know, rating is. But yeah, they sound great. I, I don't know. I have no complaints with this guitar at all. Uh, the fit and finish is gorgeous. This thing has no issues visually. Physically, the way it feels, sounds, plays, everything about it feels kind of premium. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I mean, no, nobody's sponsoring this video. Again, Toman doesn't know who I am from anybody else in the world. Uh, but the model they sent me, this particular one, is just solid, man. It's really... I can't believe it. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of floored with the quality of this thing for $275 plus shipping. I can't get over it. It's a lot of fun. You know, I'm getting into the single cut thing a little bit more. It's something different. It feels different. You know, you want to play different stuff when you have this kind of instrument. At least I do. Anyways, real quick too. I just want to mention, you know, mahogany body. I didn't mention that before. Mahogany body, mahogany neck, uh, Powell Ferro fretboard, which, yeah, you're not getting ebony at these prices. You know, you're not getting rosewood either, most likely. Powell Ferro, I think, is a new thing, you know, for the more conservatively priced guitars. Um, it looks really good too. The grain on it, it's it's lighter, obviously. I'd prefer to have an ebony. That's just me. I like the darker fretboards, but it looks the grain's really nice on it. Uh feels great. The maple the flame maple top is again, it's a veneer. It's uh triple A rated flame maple, and it looks pretty nice. I mean, you know, this isn't a PRS. It's not a it's not a Gibson, but for this price range, man, this thing looks good and feels great. So if you want to see more of this stuff, let me know. If you own one of these, let me know, please. Or if you have one on the way, you know, maybe you decided to buy one. What are your thoughts on it? I don't know. This is my first time ever playing a single cut guitar, and I couldn't be more pleased. It's been a lot of fun checking this one out. I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, you know, leave a thumbs up if you did. If you're not subscribed already, too, why not? I'm going to be bringing a whole lot more content your way. Uh, these videos are intended for my subscribers, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, too. And uh, I won't post them too often. I'm usually on here once or twice a week at the most. So uh, stay safe out there, guys. Stay healthy. You know what to do, right? Until next time, see ya.